Welcome to a pick a card reading all about you guys. So since the collective is so large, I wanted to do two piles to narrow down the messages. Maybe they will become more direct for you guys instead of general, even though this is a general reading. So if you have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra in your big three or your Venus, this could resonate for you. I am Astro Angel if you're new here. Welcome, I am so happy to have you, and if you are a returning person, thank you so much for your support. For pile one, we have this angel light. Pile two, we have this mahogany obsidian. Feel free to pause the video and meditate on which pile calls out to you. I'll show you one more time. Angelite. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Pile two. Mahogany Obsidian. Those are your piles. And I will see you at yours. Bye guys. Pile one. With the Angelites. You have made it to your pile. And we are going to jump straight into it. With this angelic oracle deck. So angelite um, helps you find forgiveness and compassion within your emotions and it also helps you to tap into um, psychic abilities or just um, your inner intuition that you haven't tapped into yet. Also it can channel divine communication and also, I read that this crystal, this stone, um, carries no water, which tells me that you may not be in touch with your emotions at the moment. Um, you could be more in your head in a you know more logical sense than considering your feelings or other people's feelings. So... Collective of Pile 1. Collective of Pile 1. I call upon the spirit guides, angels, ancestors, anything of the beliefs of Pile 1 of the air signs. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. What messages do we have for them, spirit? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Three of Pentacles and Six of Wands. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Do what you love, a great time of personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Six of Wands. Three of Pentacles. And we have the Four of Swords on the back with the King of Swords, which is the Air Signs. Um, up, up and away. Um, I feel like you've been working very hard in the physical world and you are starting to see the results of your labor. But there's definitely a deeper message here, but we just have to tap into it. Because with the angelite, it is talking about emotional connection. And what I see here is that you may have put your emotions to the side in order to accomplish the things that you need to get done with the pentacle energy and the wand energy. Um, a very independent person. Let's see, what else? What's going on here, Spirit? What's going on here? But yeah, congratulations on your endeavors. You are doing a wonderful job. Up, up, and away. Ace of Cups. Here we go. Page of Wands. The star, Aquarius. 
joyous energy. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. Okay. So since the angel light also connects you to your own intuition and your own um, psychic abilities, I feel that spirit is striving to give you a cup of awareness, especially with the star, a cup of spiritual awareness. We have a dream come true. Believe in yourself. Clarify the Ace of Cups. I'm sorry if I sound tired. This is the last video. I have been recording all night. Alright. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Alright, I'm taking this and that. We have the Empress, the King of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Empress, please. Clarify the Empress, please. Clarify the Empress, please. Alright, so we have the Hangman. Ah. Okay. I feel like you're choosing to ignore this um, cup of spiritual insight that Spirit is trying to give you. With the Hangman, I take the Hangman in this card as spiritual enlightenment. And I feel like this person in the card is just like, yeah, whatever. Whatever that is, I don't want it. I feel like you feel more comfortable in the physical world. You feel more comfortable in, um, in facts over the unseen. So maybe... I feel like you think that it's not real. And I just said, yeah. <laughs> we have this, the King of Swords on the back of the deck and the Four of Swords. I feel like Spirit wants you to take a break, take a rest, take a rest and maybe open up your mind that there is something deeper to this life um, outside of the physical world because you are clearly winning in the physical world. You're putting in the work. You are working hard. And you see the fruit of your labors in a physical sense. But I feel like Spirit is guiding you to tap into your emotions. To tap into the unknown. Let's see here. We'll get deeper. Ten of Cups. Baby, sometimes this life can get lonely. I feel like this is a message from Spirit that they see that you're working so hard. But they see that your emotional side of life is not fulfilled. Your spiritual side of life is not fulfilled. And spirit is like, I think you got me blocked. Why won't you call me back? Clarify the hangman. Clarify the hangman. It's like you're completely numb to your emotions. Um... Clarify the hangman. Page of swords. Yeah. I feel like you're over here with your sword. Like, where's the facts? Where are the physical signs? 
that there is something more. And honestly, I feel like the spirit, the spirit world or your personal spirit guides kind of feel betrayed and the song Hurt and Me just came on. I feel like your spirit guides feel kind of just like shut out because we have the three of swords, the stars, and the high priestess. I feel look at this card. I feel like, look at him. He's just like, look at it. Fucking look at it. Like, it's right here. It's all around you. I feel like you do low-key get signs, but you're just, you look for the logical sense behind it. Clarify how they have priestess. Clarify how they have priestess. The sun. They're trying to show you that they're there for you. So I feel like I'm talking to a group of people who probably think that I'm fucking crazy. But, um, no offense. I get it. Um, but I just feel like your spirit guides are trying to connect to you. Like, damn. They're trying to reach you in your dreams. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get you to realize that they can also help you. That, okay. They want you to, they're trying to get you to realize that, yes, you can climb the social ladder. You can climb the physical world ladder. But you can also climb the spiritual ladder in the spiritual realm. Like, there's spiritual rankings that you can achieve I feel like maybe they feel like they can lure you into opening up, opening up your mind if they put it in a sense as um, you're climbing a ladder. Look at this five of pentacles right here. And up here is paradise, but they're down here in the desert. And even though they have their pentacles, they're still not in paradise. And I feel like spirit is trying to lead you to the signs to see in your daily life. You probably do get signs and like I said, you just find a logical reason behind it. We have the death card, transformation, and we have the tower card. I feel like spirit is planning something to give you an open, a, um, an awakening. Who cares? Too many. Okay. The lovers. I feel like Spirit just wants to love you guys. They want you to know that there's more than the physical world. That you deserve love. And I feel like someone's... Someone maybe have hurt you in the past. Or someone's lied to you about... <sighs> I don't want to say lied because I don't want to challenge anyone's beliefs or act like mind superior in any way because I definitely don't feel that way. Um, I just feel like maybe someone. Has really convinced you that the physical world is all that really matters because maybe that person had struggled fin financially. Or knows how bad a financial struggle can become. Which has sparked a fire within you to um, accomplish your goals in this life. Which there's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting um, a stable foundation with the Ten of Pentacles right here. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But I feel like, um, okay. I feel like spirit wants you to to have beliefs of your own with the eight of swords. I feel like spirit.
Spirit wants you to just step out of your comfort zone and be open to discovering something new, discovering something outside of yourself, discovering um, something that hasn't been taught to you. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Yeah, Three of Cups. Nine of Swords. Maybe you're surrounded by people who really... I have to be careful with how I say this. Um, who really <clears throat> think that this is it. That really... are very, very close-minded when it comes to there being a spiritual realm, to there being um, more after this physical life. And I feel like these people get anxiety with the Nine of Swords because they don't know. So with the Three of Cups, they just tell themselves what they think is fact when <clears throat> the spiritual realm and spirits cannot be proven cannot be proven scientifically so therefore if it's not science it's not real and I feel like spirit is guiding you away from this closed-minded outlook on life and big drink is playing i feel like spirit with this ace of cups right here is trying to give you a huge cup of spiritual awareness a huge cup of spiritual healing a huge cup of um, universal knowledge not science not something that can be found in a book not something that can be found in a study but something that comes from what we cannot explain and this might scare you or actually absolutely sound batshit crazy but this is the message that is coming through for you I know I get on your nerves. You don't pay no attention to me. That's how spirit feels towards you. That's how your spirit guides feel towards you right now. Like, you don't give a fuck. Because with the two of pentacles, you really don't even want to juggle the idea because you were so grounded in your reality with the two of cups. You were so grounded in what you've known your lot your entire life or you're so grounded in just facts like we talked about scientific facts um we have the empress and the moon i feel like you have pushed away your feminine energy you are totally tapped into your masculine energy which is physical energy and you're not giving yourself the chance to even believe that there is something bigger than yourself and I feel like spirit wants to expose with the moon the truth. And I'm sorry if this goes um, against your beliefs. You definitely do not have to take this. Take it with a grain of salt or take it not at all. But if you felt an intuition, um, inkling, if you felt a deeper message in this, I would definitely recommend just, I know it's going to feel weird, I know it's going to feel crazy, but just, just speak to the idea that you have spirit guides, just be like, spirit guides, if you're here, if you're here with me, if you want to give me this cup, if you want to awaken me to the spiritual side, 
I am open to receiving the signs. I am open to receiving your messages and just see where it goes from there. Just kind of give trust to it if you feel called to. But yes, pile one, that was your reading. And I hope you liked it. If it resonated, please let me know in the comments. I love hearing your feedback. Um, um, you were definitely not obligated, but I would definitely appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you back, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Hello, pile two with the mahogany obsidian. We are going to jump straight into it with this angelic oracle deck. So, mahogany obsidian helps us to focus and it helps us to prioritize our spiritual progress. And it aids in clear decision making and as well as self-acceptance and self-confidence. So, tapping into the collective of Pile 2 for the Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, calling on to the Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors of the Collective for the Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pile 2, Pile 2. Pile two, pile two. What do we have for pile two? Excuse me if I'm tired. I have been recording all night. But this message will come through. Exactly. Two of Cups and the High Priestess. Two Heart is dedicated to creating something wonderful. Wonderful. Kindred spirits, do not give up on those you love. Power, power, ugh. Powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information and be at peace. The High Priestess is two, and we have the Two of Cups right here. And it says, prioritizing spiritual progress. So I'm feeling that this has something to do more, not with two people, but more with... Um, you and spirit or you and your intuition tell me about the high priestess and the two of cups what does this two of cups have to do with including the high priestess what is not seen the empress four of pentacles Three of Pentacles. Clarify the Empress. Five of Wands. Ace of Cups. Clarify Five of Wands. Yeah. Queen of Cups. Alright. I feel like Spirit wants to tell you that um, you are being guided to connect to your inner feminine your inner empress you might have shoved away your feelings you may have i just feel that you're more in your masculine energy with the five of wands you may, may be very um a, offensive or defensive you may be argumentative with those around you at this moment and I feel that it's because you're failing to understand other people's feelings in situations. Don't shoot the messenger. Um, I mean, this could have to do with somebody else, honestly. Because part two on the run is playing by Jay-Z and Beyonce. There could be someone around you that really has deep love for you and just wants the best for you.
This could be a mother figure as well. You could not have the best relationship with your mother. With the Empress and the Queen of Cups here. But I feel like she wants the best for you. But she could be very overbearing. Or it could not be a mother. It could be a partner. It could just be a fan, I mean, um, a female figure in your life. As well as your own feminine, feminine energy. What's going on here? What's going on here? Seven of Swords. I just feel like you're kind of in some nasty energy right now. Self-acceptance. And the Eight of Wands here. I feel like you could be very nasty with the words that you choose to use with the people that um, you may get in altercations with. Like the people you live with, your family, friends, lovers. And I feel like you uh, um, could really do some damage with the things that you say in the heat of the moment. You may feel that people are trying to control you or tell you what to do. And this could really irritate you, which I totally understand. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Because the Five of Wands says to withdraw from the drama of others and to have patience with yourself and those around you. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. And I feel like the people that love you really genuinely love you and care about you. Four of Wands, Seven of Swords. Are you acting like you're happy, but you're not really happy? And it says also self-acceptance. Um, are you lying to yourself? So when someone starts to see that you are living a false prophecy... When they catch on to that, you get very offensive. <laughs> Not offensive. You get very defensive. You get very offended. I feel like you may have two sides to you. You may feel like you're living a double life. With the High Priestess out here. And that song says, I'm, I swear, I'll, I swear, I swear, I will never give it up. And then drop the world, the little wine is playing. Are you in pain, guys? Seven, I mean the uh, four of wands. Clarify the four of wands. The will. And again, with the queen of cups. I feel like you're not letting yourself love with the devil here. I feel like there may be some... Um, Habits of your own that are keeping you from getting close to people, that are keeping you from letting um, people close to you see your authentic self. And I feel like this hurts the people around you. 
because they just want the best for you and they want to be able to share love with you. But you are so in your masculine energy that you refuse to even open up that side of you, which then comes off as the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Wands where you're just defensive and they don't really know how to handle it because with the Nine of Pentacles, you're so independent. Which I guess is not really for them to handle or understand totally. And I feel like you don't wanna you don't wanna open up. You don't wanna tap into your feminine energy. And I feel like when people try to get you to open up, you just wanna drop the world on their fucking head. Like this song. Up in my spaceship and leave Earth, motherfucker. Like The sun, right after I said that, and the stars. I feel like, honestly, sometimes you don't want to be here. I feel like sometimes you may feel like you don't belong here, or that you don't fit in. Oh, the sun. The tower and so I mean uh, the tower and seven of wands. I feel like you don't let yourself be happy. I feel like you are surrounded by happiness, but you don't really let yourself feel it. You don't really let yourself feel what it is to be happy. Cause I feel like maybe. You've just been scarred. Not just been. You've been scarred. Um, and this made you completely just closed off. I feel like. You feel you have to protect yourself. From the world. You have to protect yourself from people, which turns you into the Queen of Swords, which turns you into the Magician, which can make you manipulative. With the Eight of Swords and the Pimpin' by Meg the Stallion just came on, maybe you're acting like, you know, you don't feel love, like you're a pimp, you're too good, you're too hard for that life to feel love. But people around you want to give you that love. With the Seven of Cups. It's like you're not interested. Lovers. Ace of Swords. Temperance. Oh, yeah, and we have the five of um, pentacles on the top, which is being left out. Yeah, leaving out the six of cups, which is friendship. Um, what advice do you have for pile two, Spirit? What advice do you have for pile two regarding this closed off energy? What advice do you have for Kyle to regarding this closed off energy? What advice do you have for Kyle to regarding this closed off energy? Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Ace of Michael. Peace. Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Which the peace card is the death card. Transformation. Decision. The devil. 
Nine of Wands. I feel like you're holding on to a lot of pain, a lot of past hurts. Um, I would personally recommend seeing a professional. Um, I am not a professional whatsoever. I would recommend speaking to someone. I feel like there is a deeper trauma here. There is a deeper reasoning, reasoning why you were closed off than I should speak on. The Magician. Seven of Wands. I feel like you put up a, a mask. You put up a, put up a shield to protect yourself. But, like, this shield is, like, fucking war grade, you know? Like, this is military grade shield. This is nothing that you can fix. Or you can. But this is nothing um, that you can just say, hey, I want love. Like, this is, like, serious. Um, we have Six of Swords, which is moving away from trauma. Which is moving away from... Um, chaos into calm waters. It says, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. You could have had someone very close to you pass away. I'm sorry for being emotional. Um, Anyways, um, you could have someone very close to you pass away, and I'm so sorry for your loss if that happened, but um, holding on to that pain and telling yourself that you're never going to connect with someone on that level um, is holding you back from forward movement. <laughs> I sound like such a baby right now. I'm sorry, guys. And I feel like maybe when I said earlier that you wish that you weren't somewhere else. You wish you were with that person that you lost. And um, let's get some advice on that situation. But yes, again, with talking to a professional about loss and the pain that comes with that on a deep deep level is very real and should never ever be taken lightly <sighs> okay i'm good all right um clarify the nine of wands please The wheel with the nine of wands which the nine of wands is like a last stretch like you're working so hard to overcome something and then we have the wheel that came out after that and it says new beginnings a change in direction that offers happiness with the eight of cups um, I just want to let you know that talking about your pain and trying to release pain does not mean that you are releasing that person that you lost. Um, <clears throat> you're not letting, letting that person go. You're not going to let go of the memories. You're not going to let go. You're not going to lose. Um, you're not going to lose the memories. Write down the memories. Make a scrapbook. King of Swords. It says, principled, uh, rational, ambitious, and respected. Wisdom and um, objectivity are important now. Stay, your, stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. Exactly. I feel like with divine guidance on the back of the card. They search for meaning in life. Consider an alternate approach. 
Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Six of Wands on the top of the deck, which says, Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. I feel like Spirit is guiding you to talk to someone. Spirit is guiding you to um, really seek help so that you can open up your heart to the people around you. Because I feel like um, the people around you know that you're in pain and they don't really know how to help anymore and they really worry about you and them trying to open you up I know probably angers you and um, gives you stress and anxiety but I feel like these are really genuine people that really just want the best for you um, three of cups exactly connect with your loved ones Connect with um, someone stable because um, this is a lot to handle on your own, period. Um, let's get some closing advice for you guys. I'm sorry that this reading was emotional. I did not expect that whatsoever. <laughs> All right. What loving messages do we have for Pile 2 to close off this reading? What loving messages do we have to send off for Pile 2? What loving messages do we have for Kyle to, to send them off on their day? And also, it doesn't have to be a literal death. It could just be a death of a connection that really left you entirely, deeply, traumatically scarred. Okay? It says, I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. One second. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. I don't know why I'm so fucking emotional right now. I mean, I know why, but... It says, when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will guide, I will always be guided to the light. Spirit really wants you to um, seek someone that knows what they're talking about, that, um, that can help you on a genuine, on a loving level because you deserve it. And it says, thank you universe for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is of the highest good. Yeah, guys, I'm sending you so much love and so much healing energy. I am so sorry for um, the feelings that you have, for um, the deep sadness that you feel. I am so very sorry. And things will get better. Things do get better. The only thing that heals is time. And, of course talking about how we feel instead of holding it in because our brains and our bodies and our hearts can only take so much before it takes the toll completely um yes sending you guys all the love and let me know if that reading resonated for you um if you need someone to reach out to feel free to reach out to me on my socials if you need anyone to talk to um 
and make sure you do take in consideration of seeking that help needed. Um, please don't feel obligated. If you want to, feel free. Share, like, and subscribe on this video, <laughs> on my channel, I mean. Um, I would love to have you guys here, and I will send you on your way. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye. <laughs>